Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2016-17 Panini Prism Basketball. This is a chance at Ben Simmons, Pascal Siakam, Brandon Ingram. It's 10 box half case random team break number two, second half of the case that Jason popped open the other night. There are eight boxes right there and the ninth and tenth, tenth box up there. Let's see, 15 spots, everyone gets a couple teams. No vet commons will ship, everything else will obviously. Big thanks to these folks right here. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up. This is just a Drew, Brad, and Chris break. So thanks to the three of you for getting into it. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a four, eight the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Chris's last spot mojo spot on top and a handful of Chris's on the bottom. Four and a four, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck, everybody. After eight, we've got the Knicks on top, all the way down to the Portland Trail Blazers, blazing those trails out there in Oregon. All right, Chris with the Knicks, Brad, you got my Lakers, we are in mourning. Chris with the Sixers, Bradley with the Pelicans, uh, Clippers, Raptors, and Jazz for Chris, Bradley with the Bucks, Spurs, Kings, Timberwolves, Bulls for Chris, Drew with the Suns, Heat and Hawks for Chris, Brad with the Celtics, Nets, Hornets, Mavs, Rockets, Pacers, Cavs, Thunder, Magic, and Pistons for Chris, Drew with the Wizards. And Chris with the rest. Grizzlies, Nuggets, Warriors, and Trailblazers. All right, so let's sort by team. All right, are any trades? We'll pause the video, give it a couple seconds for trades, and if not, we'll continue. Stand by. All right, welcome back, folks. No trades. So let's continue with this 10 box half case blaster of 1617 Panini Prism Basketball right here on the 28th. Thanks again, everyone. Appreciate it and good luck. So, what are we looking at here? 1617, one autograph or memorabilia card per box on average. Did, does anyone remember? I didn't do the first half. Did any, anyone remember what was in the first half? Anything significant that we should be aware of? Or, or was it just standard, run-of-the-mill? I got Celtics Heat on TV. Celtics up 97 to 88. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. I think the Heat are a pretty good home team, so, so that's kind of a surprising scoreline at that time. What's up, Jason? If I was in a break yesterday, when will your card ship? Um, generally, let's see, yesterday was the 20th Monday. Generally, it takes a day or two for us to sort everything. And then the next day after that, we'll have everything packed up and labeled at most Three business days, I would say. Sometimes as soon as just the next day, one business day turnaround, and then however long it takes to get you to get to where you live via U.S. Postal Service. But fairly quick. Does anyone, uh, whoever's in the chat right now, can someone let Jason know how long it takes, the state that you live in and how long it takes to get to you from the day of a break until the day it get, reaches your doorstep. I think most people say around a week. Seven calendar days, if not a little bit sooner. If we're doing like, you know, these monster Bowman draft baseball breaks, sometimes those take an extra day or two for us to sort everything out. <laughs> Rebel doesn't pay attention. For those of you who do pay attention, Arizona, about five days or so. There you go. That sounds about right.
Bradley says New Jersey less than a less than a week. That's good. That's pretty fast. We got Giorgio's Papagiannis is your relic. That will go to the Sacramento Kings. That's going to go to Chris. If only that had Ben in front of it. Hmm, Miami's trying to come back here. There's Anthony Davis. And we've got Demetrius Jackson, rookie relic for the Celtics. That's going to go to Bradley. Wes says, took a week for your jersey to get to Alaska. That is fast. Maybe a little too fast, you guys. We might be setting the bar too high. We want to under-promise and over-deliver. Sorry, throwing Norman Powell around. We got Henry Ellenson, rookie relic for the Pistons, Chris. All right. Next handful of boxes. the Gordon Hayward story. Mike Tirico told this story about when during Kobe's uh, final game where he hit 60. Um, apparently on a free throw where Kobe scored his 60th point, Mike Tirico said Gordon Hayward stepped into the key just as he shot a free throw so in case he missed it they'd have to he could shoot it again. Although Gordon Hayward denied it. I'm like, why would you deny it? I would just take it's like, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I had that basketball that, that basketball sense. I'd say. No, blackout. I have the uh, I'm actually on on uh, the Celtics plus one and a half. Thought there was good value there. A couple of heat players banged up. I think Jimmy Butler has a bum ankle. Celtics kinda healthy. They match up well against the Miami Heat. I laid a bunch of points on Milwaukee before I realized that Giannis was out. Yeah, exactly, Sean. Yeah, he's refuting it. Is he out because of Kobe? Hmm? Is he out because of Kobe? That's what Rory texted me. He was like, Giannis is out. He, well, I mean, he was supposed to be out for a shoulder thing. But apparently he didn't even show up to the building. He's usually on the bench when he's injured or not playing. Hit some people hard. If I'm Gordon Hayward, though, I would just own it. I would just be like, yeah, it's, there he is. I would be like, yeah, it's exactly what I did. It's exactly what I was intending to do. I knew the moment. I was aware of the moment. But then the ref didn't call it. I think they would have they would have called it if you missed it. That's kind of lame. Rigged. No? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Marquis Chris. Thought that was a chip right there, but no, that's his sock. I guess there's not right a lot there. of betting back then. I mean someone in Vegas probably lost a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that goes to Drew and the Suns. I haven't seen any big rookie names yet out of Kyrie here. Irving, why do people keep signing him and paying him a lot of money? 
Celtics way better without him. 25 out of 25. The Nets were better last year without Chris him. Chris Dunn. Because he won a chip. <laughs> yeah, because of LeBron. Kinda. Yeah, Rex is in here, Joe P. He was here a little bit earlier. How's it going, man? Come on, Ben Simmons. There's Malachi. Rick. I want. I want Ben Simmons out of here. Green rookie. That goes to the Kings. Not numbered, but different parallel. There's Brandon Ingram, base rookie. He's been playing some good basketball lately. This is still Lakers edition here, Bradley with that one. Malik Beasley, Nuggets. That'll be for Chris and the Denver Nuggets. Diamond Stone and Brandon Ingram. Rookie Relic for the Lakers. That's going to go to Bradley. Did you use the upper deck trick? Hmm? Not, not yet. No, that hasn't sold out yet. Or did, unless it's sold out right now. No. No, 24 spots left. Buddy healed Pelicans. Silver pack sold out, so now we just need to do optic blaster. Mm -hmm. We finished this. We did the silver pack ten already. We just need to do the blaster to give away the money, the break credit. Pelicans edition of Buddy healed. That'll go to Bradley and there's Norman Powell. And the, oh, nice. There we go. Not not a not a silver, just a base Ben Simmons. But as most of you know by now, his autographs are not uh, with Panini. They're exclusive to Upper Deck. So. Consequently, his base cards carry a lot of uh, carry a lot of value, a lot of secondary market value. Brian Anderson silver, and if it was sil if that was silver, it would have, it would go for a ton, especially if you get it graded. AJ Hammonds, Dallas Mavericks. That goes to Chris. Thank you, Nick. And the last bits here. Malachi Richardson, rookie green, and there you have it. That was the second half of 1617 Prism Basketball Blaster Edition, 10 boxes. Oh, and that was Chris, by the way, who had that Ben Simmons, so congrats to you on that. And thank you very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.